Today we're in Lakewood, Washington, and we're releasing 134 juvenile western pond turtles that have been at the zoo for about a year. Turtle release today is an excellent example of what the zoo's doing in many of its field programs. We focus on endangered species and we try to develop solutions to recover those species and connect it to the larger living landscape where they live. With turtles, we found that by this head starting program, by simply growing the little turtles to they're bigger than the width of a bullfrog's mouth that is an invasive species that's eating the turtles, we can turn this story around. And whether it's tigers or elephants or many of the species that we work with in our field programs at the zoo, we know what to do. And the first step is just to get people engaged and say, we want to help. We're going to tell our political leaders to get involved. We're going to tell our neighbors to get involved, our children. At the zoo, we raise the turtles in a room that's off exhibit, but we do have a camera right now that's set up and people can see a glimpse of what's going on inside that room. And in that room, we have people working and they're working feeding the turtles and cleaning their enclosures and counting them and measuring them. And that's what they do every day. Today is very exciting because these little turtles are getting their first taste of the wild and they will go on to grow up here and then they will contribute to um, re-establishing the population in Washington State. Well, I think the release of the turtles today really is a symbol of hope. You know, hope that we can correct the damage that we've done to this species. All of our projects, whether it's elephants or tigers or frogs or butterflies, they take time and commitment and long-term investment. But with that kind of investment and participation, we can turn the tide on these species and create a living landscape for all. Are, are you are you can a fan? Can do something online about that? Are you a fan of the Ninja Turtles? Okay, so the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series, or whatever you want to call it, the franchise is great. I love turtles. I love it when people like reptiles and amphibians, of course, because I love them. But people shouldn't confuse the baby turtles in stores with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. If they want a te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, there's action figures that will fulfill that need. And baby turtles should not be bought as pets because they're not disposable. They can live for 30, even 50 years or longer, and people don't realize that. It's a pet you make a very long-term commitment to, maybe even longer than a dog or a cat. And uh, it's not something that you get tired of and you can throw, or you should throw, into a local wetland.